Ma'am, in my book, it is chapter number twenty. Okay, so Samia, which board you have? You have CBSC. Yes, ma'am. R S Agarwal. Okay, okay. You are doing from R S Agarwal. Okay, okay. I was just talking about NCERT. So in your school, they teach R S Agarwal or NCERT? Ma'am, R S Agarwal. Only R S Agarwal. Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. So we what we will do? Like uh, first, we will do things on our own from this, and after that, we will do uh, from R S Agarwal as well. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so first thing is that this introduction. First, we will understand about square and rectangle, and then area of parallelogram, then area of triangle, circle, sides. Okay. okay. Hmm. So first is introduction to perimeter and area. Okay? okay. So in the previous class, like you already know, two D shapes and all that, right? So over here, first thing is, ma'am, what is perimeter? Basically, the boundary. Okay, that yeah. is your perimeter. And example number six, for example, this is. To mark the boundary of the cricket stadium, you can quickly mark it. This is the perimeter, right? Okay. And area is basically inside it. This is area, right? Okay. Hmm. So this is what. And now coming to next, you know the formula for perimeter of rectangle. Yes. yes right. And perimeter for rectangle, area of rectangle, perimeter of square, and area of re square rectangle. You know. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is what. Now, okay. This is the question. Example number eight, you can see. Ma'am, the can... bike is frozen. Okay, it's pause. Uh, can you see? Okay, let let me just share it again. Okay. Uh, can you see it again? See it now. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ah, uh, so this is what? Okay. So perimeter of rectangle, this area of rectangle, area of square, perimeter of square, right? So this is a question. You can see question number eight. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You will solve it and tell me the answer. Okay.
Ma'am, I can't understand the question. Okay. See, over here, what is the question? The perimeter is given. Okay. Yes. If length of the side is given, then tell me what is the thing. Okay. See, perimeter, what is the formula for perimeter of square? This 4 into S. Side. So multiply by S. Right. So perimeter is already given. It is 40. Yes. Right. So over here, you have to find uh, this. If the length of a side is increased by 20%, what is the, per okay, Wait. I don't know what's wrong with my, so for 20%, what is the percentage of increase in its area? Okay, yes. so let's just see, a uh, little bit complex. So first of all, you will find side, right? Yes, ma'am. So what will be your side? 40 divided by 4? Yes, ma'am. So you will get 10, 10. right? Hmm. Yes. Over here, see, given is this, they asked you this. So formula, this is what you will put and you are getting 10. Okay. Now mm -hmm. they are asking you to find the area. Okay. Yes, so first of all, you will put the formula area of square of side, right? Which is side into side. So it is 10 multiplied by 10. Clear? Yes, so what they did? Yeah. So over here, they have written square centimeter. Okay. 10 and 10. Yes. Okay. Like this. Now, remember one thing, they have written square, so that means it is 10 square. Okay? Wow. Hmm. Now, 20% increase in the length of a side. So, 20 upon 100 multiply by 10. Why? Because whatever the side is, right? 20% of that side, right? And what is your side? It is 10. Yes. Right? So, 20%, 20 percent, 20 percent means 20 divided by 100. Right? Yes. So you got two. Yes, sir. Clear? And then change side yes. length of a square. So now you this 20% was increased. So earlier was 10. Now 20% increased. Right? Yes, so what is your 20%? It is two. Yes. 20% of your side is two. Yes, right? Sir. So 20, 10 plus 2 is 12 centimeter. Okay. Yes. So, now new area. This is your new area because earlier 10 was a side. You found out the area. Now, your sides are increased. Right? Yes. So, now new area will be 12 multiplied by 12, 144 square centimeter. Clear? Yeah. Hmm. Then, next, increase area. So, how much is the increase? This is new 144 and earlier was 100. Yes. Sir. Right? So, 144 minus 100, it is 44 square centimeter. Clear? This is increased. Now you have to find percentage change in increase in new area. So whatever your increased area is divided by what was the actual area multiplied by 100. So what is increased area? 44. Yes, right? sir. And what was the real area? It was 100 centimeter. Right? Yes. This is real one, right? Yes, ma'am. And multiply by 100. Why 100? Because you have to find the percentage. So 44 divided by 100, multiply by 100, you got 44%. 100 will be cancelled out by 100. You will get 44%. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now what you will do? First, you will do this. You will copy this. Okay? And okay. after that, again, you will solve this on your own. Clear? Yeah? Okay. Okay. So first, write it down. No.
Yes, ma'am, done. Done, Samia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, again, you will, this is the question. Okay. Same okay. question you will do on your own now. Okay. You will okay. not look, uh, look to the uh, solution. Okay. Yes, ma'am, done. Okay. Now I hope you got it, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now coming to next one. Hmm. Over here, you have to find the perimeter. Can you do it? Did it? Yes, ma'am. Do it. Then tell me what is your answer.
Yes, ma'am, done. Okay, what you got? Ma'am, 40 meter. Okay, so let's just see. Hmm, you have to find what? Ma'am, perimeter. So perimeter cannot be 40. 40 is your breadth. Yes, ma'am. So ma now you will find perimeter, right? Okay, ma'am. Well, you have length, you have breadth. Now find the perimeter. And the perimeter is 260. Okay. Remember one thing, whenever you find perimeter, it should be like your unit should be there, whether meter, centimeter, right? You have to write this unit. If you will not write it, you won't get marks. Okay. 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 Now, next one. Yes, ma'am. Rekha took a wire and bent it to form a square of side 14 centimeter. Then she bent it into the rectangle with one side of length 24 centimeter. What is the length of the wire? Okay. okay. So this is very important question. For example, this is your length. This is your wire. Yes, okay. ma'am. First you made square. Right. And after that you made a rectangle. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Remember one thing. The perimeter of this square and perimeter of rectangle will be same. Okay, Why? Because the same wire you are using for making square, of course, the boundary will remain same now. Yes, ma'am. And here, if you make the rectangle, here also the boundary will remain same. Yes, right? ma'am. So, Priyanka took a wire and bent into a square of 14 centimeter. One yes. side is 24 centimeter. Length is 24 centimeter. Right? Yes, ma'am. So, over here, first you will find the perimeter of square. Yes, okay? ma'am. Once you got the perimeter of square, then you will find the perimeter of rectangle. In whatever perimeter you got for square, you will keep it here. And length is given. Right? You have to find breadth. Clear? Okay, so from here you will find breadth. Right? So then yes, you have to tell one more thing. Which figure enclosed more area? Then you have to find the area for square and area for rectangle. Okay? And whoever area, like area of the square is larger or area of rectangle is larger, you have to find it. Clear? Okay, ma'am.
Mam lên. Okay, so whose area is more? Mam the square. Okay. Hmm. Let's check. First of all, you got the perimeter. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Okay. So what was the perimeter? It was fifty-six. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what was the breadth? Four centimeter. Yes, ma'am. And then area was one ninety-six and square ninety-six. So of course, square has more area. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now next one over here. This one. A window of dimension two meter multiplied by two meter is divided into four triangles. Okay, using wooden frame. With what is the area of each triangle formed? So you have to find the area. Remember one thing, because this is a square, right? So this is a square. So if you will divide square in four parts, right? So that will give you this. Yes, ma'am. Equilateral triangle. Yes. Right. So, what is the formula for equilateral triangle? It is one fourth of the total window. So, one fourth multiply by two multiply by two. Yes, right. Hmm. Yes. And you can. You. This is very easy. Okay. Now, next one you will do. Okay. Over here, it will be same, but it will be one upon sixth, right? Because okay. it is divided into. This three into two, right? They are divided into six. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yes, sir. So it will be one six three multiplied by two, which is one square centimeter. Clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Clear. Okay. Hmm. So let's just check few questions over here in NCERT. Hmm. This one, example number one. Do it. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Done. Okay. So, what is your answer? Ma'am, rupees two thirty five. Uh uh uh. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, second one. Okay.
मैम डन ओके व्हाट यू गॉट मैम 90 सेंटीमीटर गुड नाउ नेक्स्ट वन एग्जांपल नंबर 3 ओके मैम
मैम डन ओके सामिया व्हाट यू गॉट मैम रुपीस सिक्स थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड गुड वेरी गुड ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट दिस वन इज वेरी द सेम वी डिड राइट अल क्वेश्चन इज सेम सामिया और द क्वेश्चन इज डिफरेंट टेल मी सॉरी मैम क्वेश्चन इज सेम और डिफरेंट फिगर्स आर देयर वेट वेट मैम No, it's different. Yes, okay, ma'am. Okay, you can do it. Okay.
I am done. Okay. What is your answer? Ma'am, ninety-eight square. Ma'am, ninety-eight centimeter square. Hmm. Ninety-six. How come ninety-eight? Check it. Where you did wrong? Yes, ma'am. Check. So where were you? Wrong. Ma'am, in a uh, so ma'am in multiplying. Okay. Next fifth. Okay, ma'am.
Ma'am done. Okay. So what you got? Ma'am, I got one seventy-eight centimeter. Okay, very good. Okay. So, uh, from next line, next 